Hello, friends and other relations, and welcome back to Surviving the Elements. I hope you're having a great day. I'm doing pretty well. I, oh, I forgot to take that ibuprofen. Oh, I'll have time for that later. Sorry, I've got some tooth pain from my dentist appointment last Friday. And uh, isn't it just horribly annoying when you go to the dentist and he works on a tooth, and after you're done, after you go home, your tooth starts hurting, but not the one he was working on. The one on the opposite, opposite side of your mouth. That's where it starts hurting, and it starts hurting bad. I feel like my, my mouth's just fighting off an infection, and I'm pretty happy that it's isolated to just that one tooth, finally, because my mouth's been fighting an infection for months, and I've been running a low-grade fever, and it's just been uncomfortable and horrible. Ugh, life. Anyway. Oh, speaking of life. This, uh... <laughs> I don't know how I got off on that rant. I'm so sorry. <laughs> This deck apparently has a name, but I didn't know that when I when I thought up the idea, uh, which, which means it wasn't quite as original as I was hoping for. And there's probably a better version of this somewhere on the forums, and I just haven't found it. But here, here it is anyway. The card we're going to be featuring today is called the Druidic Staff. And what the Druidic Staff does is, I believe I've mentioned before, it deals only two damage, uh, but it heals you for up to five HP. So I thought, well, how am I going to feature this deck, uh, feature this card uh, in the most best possible way? And so this was my thought. Well, flying weapons. I could have like six druidic stabs out there um, all healing me. And then I thought, why stop there? Adrenaline. <laughs> Four of those druidic staves at least could be doing uh, 20 healing instead of just five. So um, this is a pretty decent deck. So long as your opponent doesn't have any any sort of uh, creature control. But anyway, let me show you how it works. Also, there's a couple emerald dragons in there, just because I like them. They, you could probably put more dragons in it. In fact, I feel like I should have. But the only but I wanted to keep the deck smaller, so I had to cut some dragons out. Life should not involve having to cut dragons out of anything. Dragons are nice and cool, and yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I like dragons. Okay, so here we go. It's off to a good start. Druidic Staff, Flying Weapon. Oh, and so, oh, he's got Adrenaline, too. <laughs> On his Rustler. That's not going to do you what you want. So, so long as you've got even one of these, you're doing pretty decent. <laughs> Which means I probably don't need as many druidic staffs as I put out for this deck. By the way, the way I learned this guy's this deck's name was by was through the PvP. People, PvP is working now. <laughs> There's hardly anyone on it because everyone seems to have uh, seems to have stopped trying, but it's working now. You can go play on it now. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, I would have showcased it here, but I this isn't the sort of deck that does well in PvP. Well, okay, maybe it would. But I tried it in PvP, and I was pwned horribly. <laughs> and it was horrendously embarrassing. And I do want to talk about it, but... Oh! <laughs> he mutated my dragon into a more powerful dragon. That is awesome. I love when mutate works... Um, <laughs> well, backfires. On my opponent, anyway. It's not so fun. Oh! Okay, that time it didn't backfire. Well, that was rough. Oh well. Okay. Two flying druidic staves. So yeah, apparently it's called druidic. Um, sorry, adrena staves. Cool name. <laughs> I wish I'd come up with it. Anyway, and uh, centaur. The let's see, man of centaur or man of the centaur. That was the the player I was playing against, and he he pwned me pretty badly. He used a deck without any creatures in it, actually. It was quite interesting. And it just turned out to be the perfect counter to my deck. <laughs> I put out these Druidic Staves and an Emerald Dragon. And what he did was he played, uh, is it Liquid Vampire? And then he played uh, Antimatter and then Purify. An Otiug with 3-7 and Lycanthropy? And I can use it. That was weird. <laughs> okay. 
there you go. That, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Thorn Carapace is doing its job, and I've got time for it to take its time because Druidic Staff, Nadrenus Dave. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. <laughs> Liquid Vampire, Antimatter, and then, um, what, what did I say? Uh, purify. So that your creatures are stuck. Um, doing damage to you, healing your opponent, and y they don't die because they're purified. So even if you poison them, it's yeah, it's uh, it's frustrating and beautiful. And I really want to try the deck now. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to try that another time. Anyway, I just have an abomination that can freeze things, so that's cool. <laughs> I love playing entropy. It's even more fun sometimes to play against entropy because you never know what's going to happen. Sometimes it works out in your favor. Anyway, that is Adrenus Daves, <laughs> and that is the Druidic Staff. Thank you, friends and other relations, for watching. Thank you, uh, Centaur, oh, Man of the Centaur, for telling me what the name of the deck is and for poning me horribly and teaching me a good lesson. And, uh, yeah, go have a fun adventure, go do something awesome, and I will see you.